Um, as I approached, I realized that I was actually the first on scene. I don't see any of our, our fellow members there. There's a lady who I said she witnessed the, the car uh, going over to the side and said that it was a guy in there that was unconscious. Open up the passenger door and then hop in and then just assess the, the, the patient that was inside. So I put him in a comfortable spot to where he wasn't like, out of the way. He used his, um, used his jacket to kind of cover him up just in case any uh, glass or shard would end up uh, hitting him. So basically, I figured like we just kick out the windshield. And then, so as I'm like donkey kicking the like the, the windshield, trying to figure out a way to, to get, to extricate the, the patient in there, I used his sweater, um, put it over the, the base of the actual windshield where the glass was so we can drag him out. So as I was dragging him out, a couple of like citizens helped me pull him pull them uh, into a safe distance away um, so that we can kind of assess them further. From there, um, I didn't know like I had like a little, my, my pants were wet and um, that was from the blood seeping through. Um, so I had like a, a gash by like three, three inch laceration um, in my, on my shin on the right side, probably just from uh, kicking out the, the windshield. The, the timing and how long it felt, it seemed like it, it was a, a blur. Cause when in hindsight, it seemed like it was forever. And in reality, it seemed, it was like a flash. It just, it solidifies like why I chose to actually join LAFD. Like being able to like serve our community, actually save a, a life. And uh, I think that was like the most impactful. And so like we, we, we do it like day in and day out. But this time it was, uh, it was, it was a team effort, but it was just like, I, I ran an ISO play in in the time being, and then like you know I had I had the support of my fellow like brothers and sisters to come in and help finish and win so we can win the game and have whoever like the the, the driver have them safe, get them back on the road, and then um, be able to freeway open back up. No one got injured. I think we we say that. We will put our, our life at risk for someone that we don't know, just for the betterment of them. And I was able to actually do it.